This is a white fella story. This is a black fella story. This is Nukumba. A proper story. Mostly we just like stories of things we know already. When we know what is good or bad. We like things to fit into our own stories. We like to be shown what we think already. That things fit in. The proper story is a story for itself. Nukumbara is such a story. A proper story. This is where our heart is. This is our home. I mean, the old people fought long and hard. We've been sort of like fringe dwellers in town. I mean, the senior elders. They fought long and hard battle with the state government. They brought us here, and this, this is where we are standing now. We are fighting for this country. This is our home. Where can we go? Nowhere but here. We've been working with the community since 2007, and then we wanted to come on country and do some exploration work. We saw a community that had fought very hard for their rights. They knew what they wanted and were willing to engage directly and honestly with us. Something pretty special. Okay, so you're agreeing to Buru coming in and frack for 27 days. And then after that, produce gas and water out of the well, which might last up to three months. So if it lasts for a long time, that's a good sign from their point of view because it means there's a lot of gas down there. Well, you will have been arm everything now. What's been put up on board and what's been said today, you will have been arm. You haven't sit and talk about you, you will have been all day, yeah. Well, it's up to you, but I'm not. All you will have, old people and young people as well. What you will have been hearing all day today? It's up to you, Bala, na? Well, how many agree today for this that man one day? You will have just left with young man and never again. Don't get never again. How many? All right. Have one woman married in Jalala. Today's meeting. And five women will be in Moja. There were lots of people today at that meeting. Everybody was happy. And we people, we have been, 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 we have been. The Buru Energy came today and he's really happy about that. For today's meeting. Yes. We have been, we have been, that means that everything all paper is all written down and that means showing us that's what it is mean. I think um, once there was an understanding and acceptance of the process and there's a public acknowledgement of the fact that they were giving permission to come onto their land and undertake this exploration activity, there was a general view from the community that they all recognise that this is an exploration project and that it may not turn into anything in the long run in terms of a commercial field development. But certainly they really want their young people to get into the workforce, to understand what these operations are about. So we bring in a suite of equipment, uh, high horsepower pumps, and uh, mix various uh, components such as sand, and other basic chemicals together, pump it down, down hole under pressure. Uh, that actually creates small fractures in the ground, uh, which allows the oil and gas to flow easily to the well bore and increases or allows additional production. Lindsay. Morning. Just want to try something new in life. Opportunity don't, like this don't come often. I mean, we're going to make most of our opportunity in life, you know, and when opportunity come like this, you probably got to make the best of it, I guess. The thing is, this is where a lot of young people, you know, they ask for a job and they feel really happy about it and, and really 
machine to work in their own area. And then I explained it to them, you know, you're going to work alcohol and drug free. <laughs> and that's it, you know, and this is where that mining company give us that opportunity, Bureau has given us a lot of opportunity, you know, to work in no alcohol, no drugs. It's not the workforce, you know, mining company, it's not them. It's that alcohol and drugs killing people. It's 100% uh, zero tolerance, certainly in terms of uh, drugs and alcohol, and both of those are tested for regularly. If they can comply with the rules and regulations that we have here at site, at this petroleum and gas site, it's my opinion that they would be able to handle any other industry standards. You know, what I want to see in this community is to get everybody work opportunity instead of and everybody focusing on alcohol and drugs. I was um, quite amazed um, what you're going to have to do, you know, pass all the certificate. You're learning a new language, you know. You know, talking in codes and all that. I find that pretty interesting. What they have is, is high skills, but no certification. So Guru Energy can assist them um, with that formal qualifications, you know, that they can take further um, at a later time. Certainly with the security aspect they are receiving formal qualifications for, their, for the work they're doing here and work operationally on site, operating equipment, uh, something that they can take further down the track and uh, we've also uh, conducted training for them to operate equipment such as front end loaders, uh, forklifts, uh, elevated work platforms. You, you sort of get a Learn the routine, and when you find the routine, uh, you you just you know learning step by step, day by day. So we've been been training to prepare ourselves for what's coming. My hope and dream for the community and for the people as well is seeing um, mainly getting young people involved in um, the workforce, getting them in involved in looking after their country and yeah with Buru it, it has been a really strong start for us. Buru are doing it the proper way and the right way but without not, not control but without we standing there and we, we direct them. I've been having a um, few phone calls from people saying that that this is this shouldn't be happening in the um, country. I'd like to just say um, to the people who have been starting to stir up um, trouble for the Nukunba people and for the community itself, that this is our country, this is our place. We have connection to these waters, to this land, and it has been great to see um, Yangra people and Buru work together and we have that connection. The greedy got to think about or whatever they call them, they got to think for themselves where they live and clean up their own backyard and do what they did. And you know it yourself because new generation, there's new technology. You got to have that workforce. And this is what we want work. We want to have the same skill as any other white Australian have. You know, the facts stand up. The facts are facts, and I think uh, for those naysayers, you know, they really do need to find out a little bit more information before just uh, just sprouting off and, and repeating, you know, whatever else is uh, thrown out there in social media. I think we wanted a, a fresh approach. We're a local homegrown company. We've got a, a very green, environmentally friendly suite of chemicals that we use as part of our frac services. We have a smaller footprint as well. So there's less impact on the environment, uh, both above ground and below. Well, everyone always complains about chemicals, but if they've got a swimming pool, they use more chemicals in their swimming pool at home than we, we go even close to. Uh, our slurry gel is exactly the same as you get in ice cream. So if you eat ice cream, eat chewing gum, McDonald's apple pies, it's all filled by, by guar, which is a root from the plant. We use exactly the same thing. The overall effect on the environment and surfaces, everything's contained on the pad, 
a very clean operation as far as the pumping of the fluids down into the to the crust of the earth. It's well below any aquifer that would be producing any potable water, so we're not disturbing any of that sort of uh, waters in the area. We're down at three kilometers uh, and below, so any communication between the two is uh, highly unlikely. You know, I mean, I'm a seismologist, so, um, you know, but as a scientist, I look at the overall effects of these operations, and if the well bore is completed properly in the specifications, the risk of groundwater contamination is extremely low. You know, this is a very, very safe operation, and I can tell you personally, Buru is doing a really good job out here. If you have any questions, anyone. Anyway. Buru has been open with, with the community, with the people, and the people has been sort of understanding what Buru has to um, sort of explain to the people. And I've been um, interpreting for the people and we have been, yeah, we call it um, good communication. What happened in the past, it was, it was a big struggle for the old people. But now it has changed a lot. It's all about communication and understanding. Put it this way. Look at the Aboriginal people. We've been attending funerals year after year, through alcohol and drugs. It's killing our people. It's definitely killing our people. And we, the mothers, have to carry that burden, losing our children through alcohol and drugs. It's been really hard for us. But I think with Buru, it's a turning point for us, getting the young people in, into training, into what we want not what others want, what we want.